What's up guys, in this video we're gonna talk about how to fire a guy. Stick around, we'll show you how we do it. What's up guys, my name's Aaron. This is video number 10 in the series on training. We're here in our shop. And in this video, it's about firing a guy. Now, ideally you guys are training, you're rocking, your crews are growing, your workers are learning, they're building confidence, you're seeing a, uh, an increase in your profit, all the benefits of the training package, everything's coming to go, uh, just coming together for you. But we know that not everybody is gonna be a fit for every company. So you might have guys that you're training now that you just say, man, these guys are just not gonna get it, they can't get it, or they sometimes I think guys refuse to do it, or you guys might come to an agreement where it's just not a fit for this guy to be at your company. Well. This last video, number 10, we're just gonna talk about ways to get rid of that guy that aren't gonna hurt that guy and they're not gonna hurt you. So that's really what we're gonna focus on in this video. Firing a guy, but doing it in the right way. All right guys, so years ago when I would, when I would have a worker and it just wasn't a fit, they weren't doing it, or uh, it just, you know, it's just not gonna work out, you gotta get rid of them. Sometimes you like them and you have to get, you hate to get rid of those. Other times you love to get rid of them. You can't stand that guy. You're going to got to get him out of your company. No matter what I did though, I seemed like I never could quite hit a good stride when I went to let a guy go. And it was always a tense and it was always turned out to be not a good situation. A lot of, a lot of bad feelings. You know, construction's a rough, it's a rough thing. A lot of man to man type stuff. You know, people, I'm not, I never got in fist fights with anybody, but you know, people are saying stuff and you know, it's just, I, I could never figure out how to do firing well it was always it was just always seemed bad and then you pull out of your shot and you got guys flipping you off driving I mean it's always you know you don't want to create enemies out of people that's not the idea if you're if you're really one of these guys and you've watched all these videos you're all about trying to help your guys be better then then when you fire them you don't want to just throw all that out you want to say like okay wait a minute it didn't work all right obviously it's not a fit so you're not you're not about the type of guy that just to crush people and I wasn't either so I really started to do I started to move away from the tense situations and I started to move into more of a uh, a situation where I would ask guys if I if I felt like they weren't going to work even if sometimes if I felt like they weren't putting enough effort I would just tell them I'd say man look man I'm telling you dude to do this job you've got to put some more effort in what you're doing or you're not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to employ you. So I'm telling you as a boss, as a friend, as a coach, you got to step it up, man, because I won't be able to keep you. So I start to drop warnings that are just straight to the point. And I would say, man, I want to do you a favor by giving you a heads up. I just don't want to walk in here and drop a bomb on you and just say, dude, you're fired. Get out of here. You got a wife, you got a kid. I'm trying to do you a solid and I'm trying to train you. So I always come at it at that. A lot, a lot of guys, you say stuff like that it catches their attention. They say, well, this guy really, he is trying to help me. And they will pick up the pace. Now, some guys, they don't catch on. They don't respond to you. So my next step is to those guys, I say, hey, look, man, I've pretty much made up my mind that this is not gonna be a fit. But I wanna ask you to go out and start looking for another job so that in your own personal finances with your wife, your kids, your whole situation, you're like, you can make a transition. So why don't you start looking for a job that you might be able to take on so that when we when we part ways, you tell me that you're quitting. You come to me and you say, hey man, I found another job, I'm gonna move on. I've, I've, I've started to offer that to guys. Now, I, let me get this real straight. I don't, somebody steals from me or they, they break some equipment, they do some malicious stuff, insubordination. Those are all, th those guys are gone. They're fired right on the spot. I have no problem with that. I'm talking about firing guys that actually put effort into your job and just didn't cut it. You know, that, that's, what, that's what really this video is about. The, you know, the, a uh, situation guys are doing something obviously wrong or they steal from you or something like that, man, just get them out of there. Don't waste time. Just cut them. Get them away from your guys. You don't need that in your company. But these guys, you know, that have made an effort and just don't fit, man, try not to hurt their lives. Try to help their lives. And I want to tell you a story. Sometimes I've actually helped guys get jobs. I had a guy and I forgot that I even had done this. This guy, he, he came in here. He was kind of a grease monkey style dude. I said, man, roofing's hard work. It may be for you. It may not be for you. He tried it out. He made good effort. He came back to me. He said, he said man, this just wasn't for me. This just not my, it's just not my deal. I said, well, dude, what is your deal? Like, what, what do you want to do? I got friends all over. All of my friends are in business. They're all looking for workers. I said, tell me, what do you like to do? He said, man, I love turning wrenches. That's really what I'm good at. So I pick up the phone. I make a, I make a few phone calls. I got a buddy that has a, a tire oil change type of, a business and I said, man, you need a you need a guy that's uh, maybe uh, he could, he could do that kind of work. You looking for anybody? They said, yes, yeah, send him over. That guy worked there for a long time. So like a year later, I was in that particular business 
getting the oil changed in one of our trucks, and here comes this guy. I had even forgot about him, man. Comes out, oh man, gives me a big hug. Oh man, it's the best job I ever had, man. I, I'm so thankful to you, man. You, you really, man, you helped, you took me. My whole life's going good, man. And I was like, man, that's great, dude. Like, that's fantastic. Like, that guy went straight from me, straight to another guy, and it helped my buddy, because he got a good worker. The guy was a good worker. He just wasn't a good fit for what I had going on. He was a good fit for what my buddy had going on. So it worked. We didn't just take a good worker and just dump him out into the, like to the sea of forgetfulness, man. We took that dude and if he's gonna work, hey man, if you don't fit here, let me pass you over here to my other buddy. Let's see, let's see if we can keep you employed, man, because that's really what we need. Everybody in business right now is looking for skilled help. Man, let's not just take good workers and demoralize them and kick them out of the fold, dude. Let's, if he ain't a fit for your company, maybe think about helping him find some place where he is a fit for. That will like revolutionize your, your image among working class people in your town. People say, man, I work there. It was a good place. It just wasn't for me. That's a lot different than saying some guy out there when he's drinking in the bar with his buddies, he goes, man, I worked there, man. That guy's an idiot, man. That's the worst place I ever worked for. You, you don't want that. You want to try to avoid that. You want that good image of guys going, you know, that's a hard place. That's a hard job. I don't envy those guys, but if you need a good job, man, that, that's a good place to go try. That's the kind of, that's the kind of firing of people. That, that's what I want you to understand from firing people. When you fire them in the right way, Guys will still respect you. They'll be out when you're not there, when you know your other crew's not there. They're just out there with their family. Say, hey, you know what? It didn't work out for me there, but it's a, still a good place. They got a good company, you know, and I and I wouldn't dissuade anybody from going there to give them a shot. Maybe it's for you. That's what I'm talking about when I say how to fire a guy. So guys, hopefully you learned something in this series. Hopefully you're training your guys. If you're having some success, man, drop it in those comments, dude. Hey man, thank you. We're rocking, my crew's growing. I'd love to hear or read some of those stories on the thing. Till the next time, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. Hit that like or subscribe button. Thank you.